Assalamu alaikum everybody. Say I'm back again with another YouTube video. So today's YouTube video, bleh, today's YouTube video, guys, we will be going over live trades. I took a live trades for you guys. I got the comment and they were saying like they would like to see more live trades. And so I said, why not? <laughs> and so I made a live trade video, guys. Excuse me, Alhamdulillah. Um, this is with the new strategy that I'm testing out. Because quite frankly, I've only traded Judas Swing once this entire week. So, you know, I can't really get any more live trades than that. So I will say that this is with the new strategy I'm testing out. I'm looking to switch to the strategy. I am like 93.6% of the way done um, in confidence to like completely switch over to the strategy. I want to test the entire month and I'm half, I mean, the entire year so far of 2023. I've only tested halfway. The results are looking pretty good. So yeah, we're good. I think I only tested until May, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the results are looking pretty good so far, much I mean, you know, this is a profitable strategy. I know that. I just want to test the entire year before like, you know, saying that I'm completely 100% going to switch, you know, but yeah, I'm going to show the live trading clips right now. And then after that, we'll get into the actual breakdown of the video. Well, I'd break it down for you guys right now on Zoom or on recording. And if you guys like this video, guys, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, Discord, brokers, socials, all that down below. So live trading now. So guys, the market is about to open in about one minute now. And so I will be trading Nasdaq. So, you know, again, sneak peeks of the strategy, guys, Nasdaq on the one minute from market open at 9.30 to, let's confirm or something, send something, um, but from, more, um, from 9.30 to 11 a.m. Yeah, guys, this is my setup, in case you can't tell, just literally a laptop and a monitor. It's not something crazy. My desk is kind of a little bit messy right now, so it is what it is. But yeah, I just want to say, guys, this is a combination. This strategy will be a combination of price action and indicators. So we're going to see how this goes. I've been backtesting it so far. The backtesting results will look amazing. So I'm live trading it as well before actually showing it to you guys you know and so actually i was supposed to trade the judas wing strategy today but what ended up happening was is that the um the federal government decided to speak so they weren't supposed to speak and then they decided to speak so because of that we're not trading even though they're speaking later <clears throat> i don't know why i'm having voice cracks even though they're speaking later in the day i was like you know what screw it. my strategy says not to trade so i'm just not going to trade and also guys i know that in the winter months the judas wing strategy tries to or it's not really the best strategy out there sometimes. At least that's what the backtesting results have shown. So because of that, I was like, you know, if the federal government is speaking, then I might as well just not trade as well. You know, it gives me more confidence to not trade instead of to trade. So I was like, screw it, you know, one less day to trade. But yeah, let's see what ends up happening with this strategy, guys. And again, I'm trying to show you guys all the emotions and stuff, but this strategy ends up running pretty quickly. Like sometimes you're in a trade and you're out. I don't know why I keep on like, cracking, but my voice keeps on cracking. But sometimes you're in a trade, and then you're out of the trade within, like, 30 seconds. Some Most of the time, though, it takes 2 to 30 minutes, 2 to 4 minutes. But yeah, it's it's very quick, it's very fast-paced, you have to be very, very quick. Okay, guys, so we're literally in this trade, and we might actually just hit stop-loss. So, that's kind of cool. But, yeah, we're just in this trade, guys, and yeah, we just hit stop-loss. Very, very sad. Uh, so this was the trade, guys. Literally entering, if price was to break this candle's high... Stop us at the scan was low, and unfortunately, we got stopped out. And so that's what I'm saying, guys. Like, you sometimes with this strategy, you're just gonna take trades, and you're gonna be out within <laughs> like I was out within 10 seconds or like 30 seconds of this trade. You know, this strategy is very, very, very fast paced, and it may not be for everybody, but you know, for some of you guys, it could work. And I know that works for me because I'm it fits my personality, I'm an adrenaline junkie, so I really, really <laughs> like fast paced things. And so, you know, I am trying it out and sometimes just stuff like this is going to happen. Sometimes you just really do end up um, losing very quickly. But on the flip side of things, you can win very quickly as well. And this is a profit burst strategy, you know. So while you may lose very quickly, you're going to become profitable over the long run. So, you know, it sucks. Um, by the way, I'm always checking because I'm on the one minute time frame. So I have to check to see if like any more setups occur. But... As for the emotions aspect of day trading, right, your emotions are probably going to run rampant because you've lost within 30 seconds, right? And so that's where being an experienced day trader, that's where looking at your journal, noticing that fact that, hey, I am profitable over the long run, noticing stuff like this, right, really, really helps to tame you and be able to let you take the second trade of the day if you're trading twice a day, right? Maybe you're only trading one time a day. But because of the fact that, you know, Sometimes you're just going to lose. That's just the reality, guys. Everybody's going to lose. This strategy is running at 
a little over a 40% win rate, which means that most of the time you're losing, you're losing 60% of the time, guys. You know, like you just have to realize that if your losses are bigger than your wins, you are going to make money. And in this strategy, your losses will be bigger than your wins. Now, they may not be bigger every single day, but over the long run, they are. The average risk to reward ratio of this strategy is 2.1 or 2.2R, right? So you are profitable. 42% win rate and 2.1, 2.2R. Over the long run, you will make money, you know? And there's no shortage of entries when it comes to the strategy because you're on the one-minute time frame. So combining all those factors together, when I'm taking these trades and I'm losing within 30 seconds, I don't care. Because I know that, hey, tomorrow I can make money. Tomorrow I can lose money. Over the next 100 trades, I will make money. And guess what? With this strategy, 100 trades might only take you two months. <laughs> well, probably not. More like three months. But you get what I'm saying? Like, over the long run, you will make money. So that's really how I deal with my emotions, guys. And we have another <clears throat> another trade setup happening right now. So I'm going to end this video right now. So Or end this part of the video. So I can take the second trade if it plays out. Okay, guys, so what you'll notice is that I set my limit order at the top of these uh, the candle highs, and I set my stop loss at the bottom of the candle as well. I am not triggered in yet. So I want you guys to know I'm not triggered in yet. But yeah, we're going to see what ends up happening. Okay, guys, so another very, very quick update. Um, that other uh, other trade that I placed with the limit order and everything, that one I had to delete. So the thing with this strategy, guys, another hint, it has a variable take profit. Okay, so the take profit is going to change based on every single trade and so sometimes what sometimes what will end up happening is that the trade will have a like positive risk to reward ratio and over one risk to reward ratio but then by the time it actually gets you to enter you would have had a less than one risk to reward ratio so if that happens i just end up like closing my limit order and not taking the trade because i always want a risk to reward ratio of one or higher so not able to enter that trade so the original take profit was going to be like right over here and then at one point or another, the take profit, <clears throat> the original take profit, guys, was going to be like over here. Right? It was going to be like a like a 1.8 restored issue or something. And then now the take profit's like running like this. So if I get triggered in, I'm only going to make 0.2, but I'm risking 1%. Makes no sense. So I just deleted the, the deleted the limit order. So yeah, not taking the trade, even if it goes all the way to that price point. Okay, guys. So literally after that trade, we have gotten no trade so far. Um, there's still 30 minutes left into the session. I'm getting very hungry. I want to eat breakfast, but... I just haven't. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see what ends up happening, guys. Um, so far, so far, no trades. Maybe one setting up soon. I don't know about that though. We're gonna have to see. But yeah, um, hopefully we get another trade. Uh, just because statistically, that trade will most likely be a winner. So hopefully we can you know make our money back and some, and give the money that we lost. But we'll see what ends up happening, guys. As for emotions, just thing. Um, very calm, very level-headed. That's how you have to be as a day trader. You shouldn't chase trades. You shouldn't be wanting to trade, right? I know a lot of beginner traders want to day trade. And I think that's kind of, I get it. I was like that in the beginning too. But wanting to trade is not a good thing, guys. You should only be trading when you're supposed to trade, which is when your trading plan says, when your trading plan says that you're going to have an edge over the market if you do trade that day, you know? So don't be forced to trade. Don't think that you should be trading every single day or that you should be taking every single trade. There was a second trade setup that I saw, and as I was about to enter, I noticed that the risk reward ratio wasn't that great. I think I talked about that before as well. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to enter. You know, there's no reason to enter trades if you are not in the most optimal conditions. Simple as that. All right, guys. So currently I am in this trade right now. We are floating at around break even. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what ends up happening. This is not the full take profit. This is just to where I can move my stop loss to break even. So yeah, let's see what ends up happening here, guys. Um, it is floating around a break even, so currently I'm not worried as much. We're in a slight loss, and we have already lost one trade before. I'm not too worried, guys. You know, trades. You know, I can like I always say, guys, it's a game of probabilities. And okay, look, now we're in, now we're going in our favor. But yeah, trading is just a game of probabilities, guys. At the end of the day, so you know whether I lose a trade, win a trade, I don't really care. I, it's usually I'm always looking at the long run. But mashallah, so it is going in our favor. So hopefully we continuously hit take profit. I am about to move my stop loss to break even. Like I said, guys. In this strategy, you are pretty, uh, it's pretty fa fast paced, I will say, like very, very fast paced. And so, bam, I just moved my stop loss to break even, guys. And we haven't hit our take profit yet. Okay, hold on. Sorry, give me a second. Okay, cool. And so, our take profit is about at this point in time right over here. 
So it is a positive risk reward ratio, guys. If we end up hitting take profit, inshallah, ta'ala, we will end up being in. And I'm very close to my take profit, guys. I'm not going to take it because, you know, I'm a possible day trader who holds his trades. But, you know, I'm already moving my stop loss to break even. This is a risk-free trade. There's no reason for me to do anything with it, right? I'm just going to wait for it to take, take profit. And you guys need to understand that while it does seem very close to take profit, and bam, we just smashed take profit. Cool. So, again, guys, you saw my entire emotions. I was talking a little bit fast because I was doing a lot of things at once. I was recording as well as, you know, moving my stop loss and everything on MetaTrader 4. But as you guys can tell, that was my entire emotion. Like, you see me actually enter the trade. You see me go in a little bit of profit. You see it go in a loss. You see it float around break even. And I'm still telling you, what am I saying? I'm following my plan. I'm holding my trades, right? And then, you know, I'm floating. Like, you see, it runs all the way a little bit in profit, right? Not anything crazy. And then it starts pulling back on me. You know, I could have closed the trade out break even, guys. And, you know, I did lose this trade before as well. So, you know, some of you guys, your emotions might be running rampant right now. You already lost a trade. This trade was in profit and now it's looking to pull back on you. You guys might be thinking like, oh God, I should close it out or break even. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Whatever it might be, guys, you have to remain emotionless, right? I was, I entered, I was in a loss. Then I became in profit. Couldn't care less. Pulled back on me. I was in a loss. Couldn't care less. Break even. Couldn't care less. I literally couldn't care less, guys. Like you guys saw the emotions coming. And I told you guys like, look, this is happening. This is happening. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to follow my plan. And then look, we melt down. I move my stop loss to break even. And even when it was super close to my take profit, like a lot of you guys would have hit or close the trade out manually, but I'm not that guy, guys. I'm not going to do that. It makes no sense for me to do that, right? Because at the end of the day, over the long run, it's going to hit my take profit, right? So even when it's super duper close to my take profit, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to close it out. I'm just going to let it hit my take profit, right? And quite frankly, guys, why wouldn't I? The worst case scenario, guys, is that I made no money on the trade, right? Because my stop loss was at break even. Not that I lost money. I made no money. So, you know, you can tell, guys, bam, super duper strong bearish momentum stepped into the market and i hit take profit you know it's easy to say this after the fact guys but the real scenario is when you're actually in the trade guys and you see the fluctuations happening in real time you going in profit to loss to loss to profit etc you know but you just got to stay disciplined got to follow your trading plan and i hit take profit i will go with this trade in actual time over um not actual time uh, i'll go with this trade in like on the camera and on my laptop as well so you guys can get a better glimpse on the strategy between this trade in this trade so yeah profit or day today guys i made um i think like 0.7 percent much the same so yeah good day so now you guys should have seen the live trades so we're gonna go into the actual trade setup right now and these are the two trades that i took yesterday actually i took two trades today as well but we're not going over today's trades but yeah this is the first trade guys so this is a mean reversion strategy okay mean reversion pretty much means that there is an average and you're expecting price to return to that average now, what is the average in this scenario? What is the 20 period SMA, which is this blue line over here, right? So this is the average of the last 20 periods and or 20 candles, I should say. Now, I'm just expecting price to go back to that average, right? Mean reversion strategy, right? So it's a combination of both in, uh, price action and indicators, right? So the price action aspect of it is this inside bar, right? And so I have this indicator that alerts all the inside bars. Inside bars pretty much means that the batteries of one candle, the highs and lows, are going to be inside the values of the highs and lows of the second candle. So you'll notice, guys, like let's look at this inside power. This is the high, this is the low, right? And you'll notice that this entire high and low of the second candle is within the range of the previous candle's high and low. So it's a two candlestick pattern. And you'll notice that this is not an inside bar because this broke the low, right? And you'll notice again, broke the low, broke the low, broke the low. Over here, if you notice another inside bar, you'll notice that this is the high, right? This is the low of the candle. So this is the first candle, and you'll notice the second candle, it's high and low is within the range, okay? So it can't be touching the range. It has to be within inside the range, right? So you got this inside bar over here, right? As parted, as noted. And I saw that we had a very, very strong bearish price action as soon as market opened. Market opened right over here. You'll notice just, boom, we just melted down. And then I saw this doji candle, right? So doji candle, shows that, what does it show? Like every price action candle tells a story. Went down, went up, and ended up in the middle. Then we have a bullish candle, OG bullish candle. Now we have pretty much another doji candle. So what I can notice is that this is a point of contention in the market. Okay, guys, we have multiple wick rejections in this area after a very, very strong bearish move down. What I'm expecting after getting this inside bar is that price is going to reverse. Now, I don't expect it to reverse the entire way. I don't expect it to go from here to here. Right? I don't expect an uptrend to come through. This is a very strong downtrend. I expect the downtrend to continue. 
But what I am expecting is that we're going to get a little bit of a pullback. Everybody that's selling around here, guys, right? They want to start taking their profits. So when they start taking their profits, the bullish momentum is going to step into the market for a short period of time. That's what I'm expecting to happen. Okay. So afterwards, right, I'm targeting. And that, that means, again, I'm going to target this 20 period SMA. So we got this inside bar. And after that, I was like, okay, this is my entry trigger, right? Inside bar happened. We're in a decent key level inside. Um, this is my entry trigger. So stop loss at the highs or entry at the highs, stop loss at the lows, right? We get triggered in and then literally within like 10 seconds, I lost. Is what it is. This is the thing with the strategy, guys. You're on the one minute time frame on NASDAQ. Especially when I'm trading from 9.30 to 11 a.m., NASDAQ is it's moving, right? It's quick. It's momentum based, right? And you'll notice that especially within the first um, 15 minutes, right? 20 minutes of the market, it moves very, very quick. After that, the volume dies down, right? But within the first 15, 20 minutes, that's when moves are happening very, very quick. So you'll notice I got stopped out in 30 seconds. It, it ended up happening. Like I can't do anything about that, right? You're going to take losses, especially with this strategy, guys. You will lose more than you win. But when you win, your profits are going to be more than you lose. So you just got to get into that mindset, guys, that no matter what, I don't care about what happens in one trade. I care about what happens in the next 100 trades. Okay, this trade lost, sucks. It is what it is. Move on to the next trade, right? Now, I'm only allowing myself to take two trades per day. This is the first trade. I lost, so I'm only allowing myself to take a second trade, right? Now, you notice, um, you know, we get inside bars and everything. Now, you guys might be wondering why I didn't take this, right? Because you'll notice bullish momentum, right? Key level presented over here. So, I'm targeting the inside bar. Oh, sorry, the SMA, right? You notice my stop. If I was to target this trade, you'll notice it would have been like a 0.63 risk reward ratio. I'm only taking trades that have a one risk reward ratio or greater. Because if it's less than one, guys, it's a negative risk reward ratio. It's not a negative, but it's less than one, guys. I'm losing more than I'm going to make. It makes no sense for me to do that. So I'm just not going to take it. Right. So that's why I didn't take this. That's why I didn't take this. That's why I didn't take this. You notice all of them are winning trades, but I'm not taking them. I didn't take this either. Again, another winning trade. This one would have been a losing trade, another losing trade. This is the trade that I actually ended up taking. And you notice it was a very good trade with a 1.68 risk to ratio. Although for some reason, it's actually more than that. I don't know why. Oh, I remember now why. I got a, I got a <clears throat> bad fill. Otherwise, it would have been like a two risk to ratio. Yeah, over two. But it is what it is, guys. Um, Can't really do anything about that, right? So you'll notice, <clears throat> why did I take this trade? Well, if you look over here, it's a very, very strong resistance level. Okay, not super clear. But a resistance level nonetheless. Okay. Now look, when we're below the MA, we're looking to buy. When we're above the MA, we're looking to sell. Kind of weird, but that's what it is when it's a meaner version. Okay. And I you'll notice I'm explaining this a little quickly, guys. I'll go over more in depth with the strategy when I actually like 100 percent have solidified that I'm going to trade this strategy. Don't worry about that. So if you're confused on anything, I will release a video by the end of the week. Hopefully, inshallah, if I'm trading the strategy full time from now on. Right. But you notice we were in this area of resistance we had these strong wicks coming in we went a little bit further and we failed to break this resistance level all right guys so you notice bam strong bullish candle but then a very strong rejection bullish candle very strong rejection smaller bullish candle again increasing bearish momentum stepping into the market we get that inside bar so i have my entry limit step at the bottom of the low i have the candle and i have my stop loss at the highs and then this might look like i got took out but i actually didn't get took out so price went a little bit higher before melting down you know, so it didn't actually stop me out. It triggered me in, right? And over here, you see bearish candle, strong bearish candle present. Not super strong, but decently strong. That made me confident. Melts down. That makes me super confident. At this point, I move my stop list to break even. And again, guys, I'm targeting this 20 period moving average. And, you know, price was fluttering a little bit, right? It was close to the take profit, but it wasn't doing it, like actually hitting it for like five to 10 seconds. And then bam, eventually hit it. Very, very good trade. Very easy trade. Um, <clears throat> Doesn't get any better than that. So we made like 0.7R, guys. Very, very good trade. These are the two trades I took today as well, just to show you guys really quickly. So I made 1.3R here and then 1.1R here. Both of these trades were winners. This one actually ended up winning in like, <clears throat> I want to say like 50 seconds or something. This one took a couple of minutes. So <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat. I'm sorry, guys. But again, guys, got the trade breakdown for you guys. I was risking a little bit less both of these days because I wanted to just test out the strategy. These are my first times actually trading this strategy both um, in real time, I should say. So I didn't want to use full risk. And so, yeah, that's how I made $70 a day trading. Again, traded live, not on the Discord yet. I do, and I do not want to trade on the Discord. 
with this strategy until I'm fully confident. But when I am fully confident, probably starting next week, I will be trading live every single day or whenever I should be trading, which is going to be a lot more days, right? With this strategy, I'm going to be trading a lot more days. We're going to be getting a lot more entries as well. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the strategy. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Um, Yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Peace out. Allah